Corey Jansen here with another tip on how to make yourself a better pianist, and that is uh, knowing when and how to use the sustain pedal. Now, if you're sitting at a piano or you're looking at a piano, the sustain pedal is going to be the far right pedal, and I'm going to show you how and when to use the sustain pedal. So for an example on when and how to pedal, I'm going to play a simple arpeggio pattern that changes from a C chord to a G chord to an F chord. And it's going to sound like this with absolutely no pedal. So every note ends kind of on its own. And this is what it sounds like if I just leave the pedal down the entire time. You hear how it's kind of muddled there at the end. So a kind of a basic rule of thumb is when you change chords, you're going to change pedals. So we'll change after I do the C arpeggio, after I do the G arpeggio, and then after I do the F arpeggio. And this is what that would sound like. So probably the best way to learn how to use the sustain pedal is to simply sit down and play a song, play the same song multiple times through and engage the sustain pedal, disengage it at different times, um, use it in certain places, don't use it in certain places and see what sounds good and you'll start to naturally move towards that tip I told you which is to engage it on a chord and disengage it when that chord's over and you move on to another chord. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more tips and tricks.